guys, Stuart here, welcome back to another video. This time we're just doing a quick review on everything I did over the winter. I say everything, the flywheel was the main thing really. Um, you might remember we did that over five episodes and the objective was to see if I can improve the performance of this Caterham 310S. Um, I'd read a lot about the benefits of changing my flywheel um, and a few negatives as well and some of the positives I'd read about were quicker pickup, better engine braking, more responsive throttle um, and I guess the main negative was it could be a bit lumpy around town which um, okay so ultimately I wanted to be able to really find out if there was a way of measuring performance benefits and the only way I could really do that was to use a draggy GPS and measure not to 60 times and that's what I did so Today, spring has sprung, I'm out in uh, Scotland, I've had a good run round today as you'll see and um, last weekend I did a series of tests with my Draggy GPS um, If you're not familiar with these, they're a standalone GPS unit which attaches to an app on your phone and allows you to accurately measure um, not to 60 times So, just to run through some of the, the key things then so the, I'm not noticing any negative benefits from the light and flywheel. I've used the, the TTV, as you'll remember, uh, light and flywheel. I changed the clutch at the same time, um, like for like, so there was no change there. Um, we knocked, I think, three kilos off the flywheel. Um, positives, well, definitely the engine braking is far improved. The throttle's more responsive, um, and I think it's a little bit perkier. But anyway, it comes down to the data to measure really if there's a, a response to the not to 60 time. So I'm going to run through that data now and I'll do that um, by throwing the, the before and after charts up on the screen. So let's run through that data. Here are the two performance reports from the Draggy GPS. Now, the one on the left um, is from the autumn before I fitted the new flywheel and the one on the right is from the most recent runs we did re um, last week. Now the first thing that stands out to me is we've got not to 60 time of 5.33 seconds in the autumn before flywheel and a not to 60 time of 5.03 seconds um, in the springtime. Now straight away that tells me we've knocked 0.3 of a second off which is great I suppose in, in the grand scheme of things we were looking for a performance upgrade You'll notice it says valid in the top right hand corner here. Now that um, means that all the GPS was, was accurate enough, but it also means that um, the slope isn't um, exceeding a certain level. So if we have a look at the autumn run of 5.33 seconds, you can see where we're actually going downhill. And if we have a look at the, the post flywheel fitting, 5.03 seconds, we were actually going uphill. So for me, that perhaps has the ability to come down a little bit um, even further. So the other thing that stands out to me is if you look at the not to 10 miles an hour, we did that in half a second with the old flywheel. And with the new flywheel, the best I could do was 0 0.58 seconds. Now, um, I did several runs. I'd probably say in excess of at least eight runs to get the best times. Now, I only went with the best one because I think a lot of it comes down to how good your start is. As you know, it's very difficult trying to get the tires warm, trying to find a dry bit, um, and ultimately trying to get the best balance of slipping the clutch and wheel spin. So for me, that stands out that the 5.03, I think, is achievable to get sub five seconds because we had a fairly slow takeoff compared to the autumn timing. Um, but ultimately, we still ended up with a faster not to 60. This data also shows you the 0 to 60 time with a one foot rollout. Um, and we got 5.1 seconds from the, the old flywheel and 4.77 seconds with the new flywheel. So that's my conclusion of this data. So there you go, quick summary now of um, my thoughts behind the, the performance benefits. I don't think, well, I've not been able to see anyone else um, who has online on the forums or anywhere else been able to measure that. Now, you could argue the case that maybe that draggy isn't accurate enough, but it's all I've got and I've done multiple tests with it as, you, as you've seen. So 
Um, long story short, yes, I've managed to knock a bit of time off the knot to 60. I think the engine braking and the, the, the perky performance is, is fun, but for me, one of the biggest benefits was the fact that I learned how to take the engine out with a little bit of help from, from Gordon, but I managed to take the engine out. I'd be confident enough to do it again. So that allows me, um, I guess, more opportunity to play around and tinker with a few things. So this summer, hope to get out, film a few adventures, pop them on this channel. Hopefully the sun will be shining like this. We might go on a camping adventure, certainly heading out to the west coast of Scotland um, and enjoy that. So until next time, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.